1407, take one. All right, sir. I was the first one to arrive. Uh, Winston Churchill was the second one to arrive. He came the day after I, was, I arrived. And Stalin was two days later. I heard afterwards that Stalin had uh, had a slight heart attack. I didn't find out about it until he had arrived and told me what the trouble was. But each one of us uh, gave a state dinner in turn. Uh, I gave the first one, Mr. Churchill gave the second one, and, and uh, Stalin gave the third one. At Stalin's dinner, uh, he kept drinking out of a bottle. Everybody else was drinking bo uh, vodka or trying to. It's hard to get down, you know, if you're not used to it. At any rate, I turned around to him and I said, that must be a different brand you're drinking. He had a little glass about the size of a symbol. I reached over and took his bottle and poured it in my... A vodka glass after it was empty, and it was French wine. He wasn't drinking vodka at all. And I said, you put no, uh, put one over on us, aren't you? Oh, well, he says, you know, my heart won't stand this heavy drinking, and I have to go slowly. Well, you know, the Russians never put on a dinner and it, 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 without a whole raft of toasts. At the Russian state dinner at Potsdam, they had 14 toasts. And I learned early in the game not to take a drink every time they offered a toast, but just back out like you're taking one because you would be unable to carry on the business of the meeting. It was a, 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 an education in itself to be dealing with two brilliant men such as Winston Churchill and Stalin. And they were representing Great Britain and Russia. We had to move all our divisions that had not been used in France during this war had to move them across the United States and send them to the Pacific because we still had a war on our hands in the Far East. And it was necessary that that be done. That was one of the uh, reasons for the meeting at Yalta and at Potsdam. We had hoped that Russia would get into the Japanese war on our side. Russia didn't come into the Japanese war until after the bombs had been dropped on on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They saw immediately that Japan was going to surrender and they wanted to be in to kill. And they came in just about three days before the Japanese surrendered. And they caused us so much trouble at uh, Yalta and at the, uh, far, at the Western European surrender that I made it a, a point that they would have a representative at the Japanese surrender, but they would have nothing to say about what took place. And we didn't have any trouble with them with the Japanese. We got the thing straightened out the way we wanted it and carried it through to the end. But if the Russians had been able to get in there, they'd have caused us just as much trouble in Japan as they did, as they did in Europe. But they didn't have a chance. And that's the only reason they didn't do it.